Hello, here today with a quick book review, maybe not so quick, Terry Pratchett's Hogfather. I just realized I'm matching the book. Very nice. This isn't going to be a play-by-play. -play. These are just going to be my thoughts about the book. I'm assuming you read it. Spoilers ahead. If you haven't read it, uh, please read it. It's a great book. Great book. Five stars. And there goes my spoilers already. I ruined my video. But uh, we'll do a little recap, I guess. Um, Hogfather is about... It's the fourth book in the Death series. Which uh, I'm coming to... To truly love Ter Sir Terry Pratchett. Sir Terry Pratchett. You have to remember that. And his writing and his his jokes and the way he looks at life. It's an amazing it's an amazing way to look at the world. And I wish I could look at it like that sometimes. Uh, it's so whimsical. But yeah, the story is uh, Hogfather. The Hogfather is missing. And death takes his job. Uh, much like the last uh, Mort Reaper Man and Soul Music, death gets a new job, and is how he goes about that job, and how it messes up things. Well, not necessarily in this book. How the uh, and uh, Susan's back. Susan's back. His uh, granddaughter, and she was a. Uh, uh, very great, very, I like her attitude, uh, the way they pit her in situations where everything's going crazy and she just is like, shut up people, <laughs> stop talking like that, this is the time to be serious, and it, just the way he writes, uh, but at the beginning, the auditors are back, we haven't seen them since Reaper Man, I believe. So I almost forgot about them until they remind me. Yeah, I think they were the big bad in this uh, story. And I really enjoyed that. That we, uh, I enjoyed that there's a, a whole through line. I didn't know that it was going to... I knew it was the Discworlds were uh, made up of uh, standalones. And I didn't know that the series was going to be so continuous. So that was good. That the auditors are back. Susan's back. They mentioned more his death, and they mention uh, his mother, and Albert's back, one of my favorite characters, Albert. And uh, yeah, the, the, the mouse comes back, uh, the death mouse comes back, and he recruits Susan to, you know, death is gone again. Which I, you would think gets overplayed, but no, I enjoyed it. I, I didn't get tired of it at all. Uh, Susan's a nanny in this. She uh, and the way they do it is very nice. That because uh, she can see the the monsters that the children can see, so she has a crowbar or uh, whatnot, and beats up the the monsters, the boogeymen and the eight legged monsters or whatever they are. And uh, and then, well, the whole point of the story is that gods start, uh, they, uh, the auditors hire an assassin to assassinate Santa, not Santa Claus, Hogfather. And the assassin's really creepy, uh, Mr. Tea Time. I, I think there's a play on his words, Tahi Tehim. I'm uh, Jonathan Tahi Tehim. Maybe it's going over my head, but I think maybe there's a play on words. She mentioned something about afternoon tea or TF4, TF4, I don't know, I'll get it eventually, but yeah, so this creepy assassin, the assassin girls, he works for the assassins girls, he, uh, he's a hardcore killer, he hires a bunch of thieves and crooks, the lowest of the low, and even they're afraid of him, and he comes up with this, uh, and so the auditors hire him, and he's the best of the best, I suppose, and he uh, takes up the job, and he has a very clever job, a clever way to kill the hogfather, which is to sneak into the tooth fairy build tower and use the teeth of the children and old magic says that you need some hair or some teeth or something to do old magic so he uses all the teeth to get the children not to believe in the hog father and that was i didn't see that coming i, I kept on trying to figure out how they were gonna what was he doing you know uh and when I when they told me, I didn't figure it out. I was pleasant, like I couldn't. The way he, the way this guy's mind works, 
No, I should be holding up the, the way this guy minds work. Terry Pratchett. Uh, uh, I'm so sad that he died. It was such a loss. I, you know, I, I'm sad that I'm barely realizing it. But that was great. Uh, the, uh, and then they had to get Susan to go on a journey and f- find Hogfather. She finds the, the, the god of hangovers. The oh my god. <laughs> the oh my god. The god. I thought there was going to be a love, love interest between those two, but he ends up uh, being with the the which one the fairy the tooth fairy one of the tooth fairies and that was good the ai computer the the unseen universe is back the art arch chancellor i I, when i read it i read his name as ridiculous i know it's not ridiculous but that's just the way i we don't ridiculous i'll see it somewhere rid cooley rid cooley i just say ridiculous rid cooley the first page i turned to is rid cooley yeah uh, Professor Cooley, the the Arch Chancellor, the Dean, uh, all of them are back. They, uh, I was worried the orangutan wouldn't be back. The librarian, he's back too. All the favorites are back, and they have the AI computer, which is great. The AI computer, which uh, runs on ants and bees, and uh, when the waiting a little clock comes out for the waiting symbol, I love that. Just the humor. Uh. Yeah, and and then so that's basically the plot. The hog father goes missing. Uh, death, uh, and then death has to go be uh, be the hog father, and he has to learn what it is means to be the hog father and what giving is. And he, uh, I found it very good that. Very humorous how he how people were trying to stop him from giving away things. You're not just supposed to give people what they want, you know. That's not the way it works. And then when he had to when the when death had to give uh, to the poor and he couldn't he didn't understand. You know, it's because it's so stupid the way the world works and the way it should work if you thought about it. Like why, why do the why do poor people get poor gifts? They need the most, right? And that's what confused death. And I, there's always a, a good way to think about just the way uh, the way to think about it. There's a old, if you just simply think about it, the way he just breaks it down to the simplest way you can think about it. Yeah, poor people should get more because they're poor. But no, the rich gets the most expensive thing. How rich people get free stuff all the time. Even uh, the restaurant, when uh, Death gives, there's a, a scene in here when Death gives the homeless people food that he stole. He basically stole it. He acquired the food from a fancy restaurant. And then the fancy restaurants were like, well, what do we have? Well, our shoes are made of leather. And so they just, and, and they sell it off as a uh, fancy food to you know they don't know the difference they just and they don't even lie about it they say well i feel kind of dishonest well then we'll just pit it we'll say it in french how do you say uh boot french uh boot and gravy in uh in french you know it, it was it's so funny i was laughing uh i'm gonna end up buying all of these i bet but uh the death and uh susan eventually tracked down uh the assassin uh, to the Tooth Fairy, the Tooth Fairy Tower, and uh, they have a, they split up and they fight. Well, they don't fight the 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 group of thieves. They kind of defeat themselves because their imaginations, their monsters and their imaginations, kill themselves. Not they don't kill themselves, but the closet that the guy was afraid of as a child, or the scissor monster. Or uh, one of them uh, afraid of his mother. I can't remember what story it was, but it's not in this. But you can always know somebody's a good person by when they talk about their mom. You know, <laughs> like my mom used to talk to me like that too. We're gonna be friends. <laughs> not in this book. I can't remember where it's from, but it made me think about that. And uh, they even had a fake out with the uh, with the assassin when Susan. Pushes him off, or he falls off the tower. She kicks him off. They were dangling off, and she kicks him off, and uh, he gets teleported, or he dies, but he's not really dead to the Unseen University, and he gets up and chases after, goes to try to kill Susan again, 
And then, you know, heroic moment, the last battle, they, Susan sticks the crowbar in him. Or the poker. The poker, that's what it is. The fire poker. Yeah, just an all-around good, solid book. Just another win for Terry. I think this probably, it's a, it's a I know it's a holiday book. Uh, but I'm just reading it in order. Fourth book in the Death series. <coughs> Uh, and I just got done reading it. If everything sounds jumbo, I should make a uh, a proper review. But I like these just the way I'm doing it now. I really enjoyed Terry Pratchett. Let's just get down to it. I'm really enjoying Terry Pratchett. I'm probably going to end up buying all of the... I think this is book 20. So, I, I and, and that's probably... Uh, I think I'm missing some things in these books because they mentioned some things that happened in the other other places on, on the disc world. And I'm thinking those things are probably in the other books that I just missed. If I, I would know the reference if if I read those other books. But I'll look into which series. I'm probably the guards of the witches series. I'll start next. Or well, I got a big TBR. But all around five stars, five stars. Please read if you don't. If you didn't like this, I don't see how. I, I don't know what kind of human being you are if you didn't smile while reading this. Uh, a couple of my favorite quotes, I guess. I put these bookmarks in here for a reason. This first one's this can't see. Am I saying that right? Oh, uh, just a little good quotes I saw. Never take the lot and run. Take a little and walk. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> or, what was it? It's really nice. Or when uh, the Hogfather was playing Santa in the mall. Or when Death was playing Hogfather in the, in, the, in the mall and he gave the little girl a sword. And he said, yes, that would be educational if she cut, what if she cut her? So, yeah, that would be educational. Just my little... What I want to remember from these, pick another random one. What's going on here, whoever you are? Oh, that's a, another good scene where uh, they're trying. The the king is trying to feed the homeless people, and the homeless the the poor peasant doesn't want it. He's like, I don't really want this. <laughs> He's like, no, you're gonna eat it and make me feel good. Yeah, just silly scenes like that. And no, uh, when they're trying to tell death how things are supposed to go. And he says, no, you mean this is just how it goes. This is the way you make it. I love this book. I love Terry Pratchett. The, the undertones of capitalism. There's the, the, the cop in, in the story where he's talking about he's religious and he's trying to talk to his friend. The other, the sergeant no noob, I think his name was. I think he's a character in Guards, Guards. But anyways, he's, t he's t you know, he's telling his partner, oh, it's too commercial. And, you know, uh, it was just, yeah, it's true, though. A very good Christmas story in March now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Those are my thoughts.